What's going on everybody? It's your boy. I am here to give you guys a quick review for um, <clears throat> Love and Hip Hop uh, New York. <clears throat> Got this in, in advance. Alright, so you know, I said shout out to my girl, you know, for getting this to me, you know, early. And the crazy thing is, it's weird how people will give me the link and shortly after they give it to me, I actually get it. It's crazy, but hey, it is what it is. So you guys are getting it early. Uh... I'm gonna be honest, this episode was more of a filler. By the previews, next week look like a filler as well, so but we'll see. Like I said, I'll still give it to you, I'll still review it. Alright, so Cardi B is um it's pretty much saying I'ma break this car, I'ma break this car, giving me nothing but straight Jasmine Sullivan, you know, and <clears throat> she and you know again we already saw that from the previews, her, you know, use a hill to, you know, break the window. Uh we got um DJ self in the club and apparently like the club ain't really popping no more Okay, Mona, but it's not popping no more. He goes up to Yorma and I I guess Yorma was trying to you know get herself to that place mentally where she can conjure up these tears and Honestly, I think that she wasn't expecting the fight to happen because she even said, you know um, Let me see they're talking about the situation and he's saying, you know, this is something that's old. And she was like, well, it seems fairly new. Why you bring me, you know, here to deal with this fuck shit? And she actually touched me. That right there lets you know she, she ain't ready for them hands. That she, and here's the thing. If you wasn't ready for the hands, you should have, you know, stayed sitting your ass down. It is what the fuck it is. And then she also said she took it to the next level and touched me. That, and I think that was probably one of those things where, okay, we did not rehearse this. You know, we did not rehearse this, and all of a sudden she just put her hands on me. I, I didn't know what the fuck to do. Again, we know this shit is staged, but it's whatever. Uh, so that's that. Mo and Lexi, uh, Mo mentions her man. And Lexi pretty much says that uh, Ra is going to go ahead and do the uh, release party. You know, she went and talked to her this and third. She's agreed to hold up her end of the party. Uh, Rich and Ashley. Ashley has a surprise for him. She has her. She got a belly ring. Uh, Sixteen years old, but she has a belly ring, and you know, Rich really doesn't know how the fuck to feel about that. And uh, you know, he's saying that I guess he's gonna have to turn to the drill sergeant since he's being the cool dad. Let's see, uh, Mariah Lynn and Carly B. Uh, uh, Carly B is mad at you know Yorma only because she stood up. Which I think I've already said that which is like when Cardi B walked up, of course, she was addressing self. And even though the other two are in a relationship, it's one of those where she should have just stayed seated. You feel what I'm saying? Now, on the out, like if we flip this ever so slightly, if I'm sitting down and a dude walk up to my girl, then of course I'm finna stand up. But, you know, it's one of those where if a dude walk up on a chick, that's something totally different. You got, you got this female walking up on the dude. I would just like should just let that shit ride out. But if you gonna stand up, be ready to you know how to. And that's even for a dude. Like if a, if a dude stand up, he need to be ready to sit here and handle whatever the fuck comes after. She didn't do that. It is the fuck it is. Cardi B whole thing is she stood the fuck up and her ass got handled. She's mad herself because okay, you keep lying, I keep asking you, do you have a girl? But you keep telling me that you don't. So she's mad that he keep lying. You know, Mariah wants her to rectify things with self, you know, more or less so they can keep that business relationship because she doesn't want her to just sit here and fuck herself out of the business aspect. And they're, uh, you know, they seem to be good buddies. Uh, so Crisco, now he with Mo. Mo brings up Rai, he even said, I, I saw y'all on her Instagram and I thought as she was going to take y'all to that next level. I really don't know how the fuck how. And she was like, oh, so is that all you saw? He's like, well, the creep in me saw something else. And again, you know, if this wasn't contrived, excuse me, if this shit wasn't contrived, that right there was a sign the creep in me. If a motherfucker addressed himself as a motherfucking creep, that right there is a sign to, you know, run. But we're going to just stick with the shit they're giving us. And Mo wants him to come to their uh, song release party and even talks about, you know, him meeting the family. She, uh, he like, uh, we move a little bit too fast for this, but we'll talk more about that momentarily. Let's see. Miracle, Ashley and Rich, long story short, Miracle just like, she going back home because you're being too much of a friend. She got a belly pierce. She's not going to church, this, that, and the third. And, you know, and I can understand both sides. And one thing just in general, when it comes to kids, I think we've all been there as teenagers. 
if you are so strict and so you like you're going to stay within this box that child is going to burst out of that box at at, at some point you know so it's probably a little bit best to give them a little bit of room to move around because if not it's either give her a little bit of room now and kind of let her find herself or you keep her locked up and once you know she get out of you know y'all confine her she turned into a Portia Williams I said it moving the fuck on so Chris called Mariah Mariah uh, goes in to talk to him you know dealing with the music thing and even shares you know some of her background he shares her his background, so now they connected on that. She knows that he and Rich are friends, but for her, it's all about the fucking business, and they agree to work with each other. And he wants to uh, collab with her in more ways than one. <sighs> like, we didn't see that coming. Uh, DJ Self and Cardi B, long story short, they both somewhat apologized to each other, but, you know, actually, she really didn't. He apologized to her. The whole thing is, you know, if a chick happy with me, she will happy for me. Forever. And you know her whole thing is uh it's gonna be business. That's that's the whole thing. Like, like, and he's even saying that too. But he still wants certain friend benefits. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Crisco and uh, Mariah. So she goes to his apartment. Come to find out, it's a fucking date. And her whole thing is it is what it is. And she brings up that she knows Rich, but doesn't necessarily say how. Crisco kind of, you know, puts two and two together. And his whole thing is he even mentioned that he has a score to settle with Rich because of the whole rhinestone strawberry. It is what the fuck it is. They kiss. All right, whatever. Moving the fuck out. Uh, DJ Cell has a vehicle to go pick up Yorma. Now, this would have worked for me, even though it's still contrived. Has she not asked them to tune into the fucking radio station? But she does any fucking way. And he's on there giving his version of events in reference to what happened that night and claims her over the radio and oh my gosh she didn't fail for the fucking okie doke and she's talking about some well what are you going to do because you're saying but you're not doing and i'm like well what you need to do is you need to make his ass fight for that pussy you need to make his ass fight you know lay this right quick because like i said this this fucking review gonna be a motherfucker quick ladies right quick ladies ladies when a mother when a dude fuck up you don't just take him back at the first sign of him. No, you made that ass work, okay? And let that motherfucker know that if you ever fuck up again, I'm as good as gone. Anyway, was that all I had to say about that? Yep. All right, so the Thathalalicious. <laughs> Song release party. So Self brings Mariah so she can rub elbows. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, let me see. It's more, like, here's the thing. Because what I thought is they were just going to play the song. But this wasn't really a song release like party. It was more of a showcase. Again, if this shit really wasn't contrived, what they should have done is they should have performed more than one fucking song. Like, if y'all have this space and y'all have people there, this would have been the perfect time to do it. They didn't even mention if they truly had bloggers and vloggers and all these other stuff there. No entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a good time. You know, fuck it. Just get some cameras there. A nice little red carpet, whatever the case may be. But if you're going to promote, use this time to fucking promote doing one song. Hell no. They should have had, like, at least four or five songs. That that they did and showing their versatility to get people like oh my gosh this shit cool this shit good one fucking song whack any fucking way so mo and uh chris will go off to the side to talk and uh mariah walks up you know and it pretty much spills out because you know Roger's like well yeah you know we've been macking and most kind of like whoa what the fuck and all this really boils down to is you know me and Cisco have the same definition of dating. If I am dating you, I can date whoever the fuck I want to. It is when we become committed and I say that you are my woman and I am your man that we are now exclusive. Now, most whole thing about dating is if I'm dating you, then I'm going to see because her whole thing of dating is we're in a relationship. Because to date means you can date any fucking body. But this is one of those where you need to be upfront about the terms of what dating is. So she's just like, you know what? Well, you two are dating each other. I am not going to be in this. Which I'm like, you know what? I can respect that. And then she was like, I'm not going to be nobody's fool. I'm looking like, but bitch, you looking like a fool right now. Not even talking about just how you act. Just about your looks in general. But whatever. She walks off. Chris Cole tries to ring her back in. And she was just like, no, that's it. And security can't escort y'all out. And Mariah jumps in like, security ain't escort nobody out. And it was at that point, I'm like, Mariah, probably shouldn't. Yeah, don't do that. And then... 
Mo knocks the glass out of her hand. Did not get it. I really just don't want to fucking get it. So what we thought was really going to be a scuffle, which I knew it wasn't, turned out to be all for naught. And we're going to see next episode that uh, Mariah is going to sit here and claim Crisco, but it's not going to be the last that we're going to see of, of this motherfucker. So that's all that I got. Like I said, this episode really didn't give me anything, but enough to give y'all over 10 minutes. So that is all that I have. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.